Hello, this is Roan Celis Capistrano of One Million Club. In this video, we will discuss the compounding power of action. T. Harv Ecker said, Rich people are committed to being rich. Poor people want to be rich. To achieve your financial goals, you have to be committed. First, you should be creative. Being creative is saying no to limitations. Being creative is creating options when limitations arise. Pag nagsisimula ka kasi, ang una mong kalaban ay ang sarili mo. Kapag nasa execution stage ka na, marami ng excuses or limitations na may isip mo. Don't buy the excuses of 90% of people. I have no time. I'm too old. I have no experience. I have no money. I have no talent. Excuses will paralyze you. Excuses will not make you wealthy. Perfect situation will not come. Instead of focusing on your limitation, why not focus on what you have? For example, if you realize na you need to find other sources of income to achieve your financial goal, you should sacrifice a portion of your spare time. I don't believe on others' excuse na I have no time. Lalo na pag nakikita ko may time siyang mag-Facebook. I believe na kahit 30 minutes to 1 hour per day lang ang alat mo to do part-time job or business, Marami ka nang magagawa. In my case, I use my travel time in doing my part-time business. Habang nasa LRT ako, nagpo-prospect ako. Nagte-text ako sa friends and office mates ko. Ini-invite ko sila sa free financial coaching para matuto silang mag-save and invest. As a result, I earn 75,000 in 8 months. That's 9,375 extra income a month. Wow, I'm not saying this para sabihin yung magaling ako. I'm saying this para makita mo ang potential kung i-maximize mo lang ang time mo. Also, to improve your financial situation, you have to try new things. I don't buy others' excuse na, I have no experience. Roan, I cannot do part-time business. I have no experience. Mahina ako sa ganyan, selling. When I started my part-time business, my financial coaching business, As an accountant, wala din naman akong experience sa sales and marketing. Ang alam ko lang eh umupo sa harap ng computer, mag-excel, mag-compute, gumawa ng reports. I attended trainings para matuto ako. I read books about marketing. I watch YouTube videos to learn about marketing. Now I discover that selling and marketing is easy. Dahil pinapaintindi mo lang naman sa tao ang value ng binibenta mong product. T. Harv Ecker said, no luck or anything else worthwhile will come your way unless you take some form of action. To succeed financially, you have to do something, buy something, or start something. Again, don't focus on your limitations. Focus on what you have and just start. Now, let's go to the difference of working smart versus working hard. Maraming Pinoy ang masipang magtrabaho, working hard talaga. We are so focused on our job. Ang problema sa job, if you stop working, you stop earning. Kahit officer ka pa sa kumpanya nyo. Importanteng maintindihan mo na ang gastusin mo or expense ay permanent. Kahit mawalan ka ng trabaho, kailangan mo pa rin magbayad ng rent, gagastos ka pa din sa food, kailangan mo pa din ng pamasahe. Kaya ang income mo dapat magawa mo din permanent. If you don't want to work all your life, build passive income. Passive income is an income received on a regular basis with a little effort required to maintain it. Sample, when you own a condominium, pwede mong paupahan. Then you can generate rental income every month. Or you can write a book. Every time na may bumili ng book mo, you earn royalty income. You can also generate passive income if you have investment in paper assets like mutual fund or stocks. Ang tawag dyan, money working for you. Another source of passive income is building a business. To build passive income, you have to learn to work smart and your mindset should be long-term. To understand this further, let me give you an actual example. As an accountant, may mga offer ako from clients to render an accounting service. Isa sa offer sa akin is to do an accounting reports and they will pay me 4,000 for every 8 hours. Sa una, mapapaisip ka. Pwede na, kasi kung kikita ko ng 4,000 sa isang araw, tapos gastos ko na sa 300 lang, ang laki pa din ang matitira. Pag ganun pala thinking, short term yun. 
But when I think long term, tinanggihan ko yung 4,000 and I create video instead. Actually, masasabi mo na, teka, sayang yung income na nawala. Wala naman akong kinita pag gumawa ako ng video. Halimbawa, kung 3 days kong ginawa yung video, sayang naman yung 12,000 na kinita ko sana kung tinanggap ko yung offer sa accounting. Pero ang inisip ko, yung pwedeng kitain ko from video after 1 month, after 2 months, after 3 months, after 1 year. Inisip ko yung long-term effect ng ginawa kong video. Example, kung ang ginawa kong video, binibenta ko ng 500. On month 1, kung may 2 buyers ako, 1,000 ang income ko. On month 2, kung may 4 buyers ako, 2,000 ang income ko. On month 3, kung may 8 buyers ako, 4,000 ang income ko. On month 4, kung may 10 buyers ako, 5,000 ang income ko. On month 5, kung may 8 buyers ako, 4,000 ang income ko. So, kumita ako ng 16,000. Compared ko sa kikitain kong 12,000 na accounting income na tinanggihan ko. Again, my message here, working hard is not enough. You have to work smart and think long term. Now, let's go to the compounding effect of time and money leverage. Ang good news, lahat tayo may 24 hours. Si Henry C. may 24 hours. Si John Gokong Wei may 24 hours. Ikaw din may 24 hours. Pero bakit may mas mayaman? Dahil lang mayayaman, they know the time leverage. Based on my actual experience, dati hirap ako sa pag-market ng financial coaching business ko. 8 hours per day, I'm doing prospecting, follow-up, to look for a clients na interested sa savings and investment program. At dumarating talaga ang month na wala akong kahit isang sale man lang. So, zero income kahit pa masipag naman ako. Then, last year, I started to create video. Ginagawa ko ang isang video, 4 to 8 hours. As a result, tumaas ng income ko, nakasave pa ako ng time. Dahil kahit tulog ako, may mga nakakapanood na OFWs at sila na mismo ang lumalapit sa akin para magtanong, paano nga ba makapagsimula mag-invest? Dahil sa video ko, nagkaroon ako ng client sa iba't ibang bansa, gaya ng Dubai, Israel, Jordan, Italy, anywhere basta may OFWs. Lesson, what you can do in 8 hours is very limited. So, you have to use the power of time leverage. Sa ginagawa mo, think of other ways to get the result you want. Start creating videos if applicable. Start internet marketing. Now, let's discuss money leverage. To use money leverage, you have to be smart in trading your money. Kapag may money ka, saan ba napupunta to? Sa expense ba or sa asset? Know the difference between the expense and asset. Kung sa expense na pupunta yan like gadget, your money is decreasing its value. Dapat asset ang binibili mo. Buy income generating assets. Paper assets like mutual funds. And invest on business. Dahil pag sa asset na punta pera mo, your money will grow. Sigurado mas mabilis mo ma-achieve financial goals mo. In life, you have to pay the price. Do you want to enjoy now and pay later? Nag-enjoy kang mag-shopping sa 3-day sale na kaskas mo pa credit card mo? Ang effect, 20 years you need to sacrifice dahil mabilis mag-compound ng interest sa credit card mo lalo na kung di mo ito nababayaran. Or do you want to pay now and enjoy later? Choose to save and invest for 3 to 5 years so that you can retire early and enjoy the next 20 years of your life. T. Harv Ecker said, If you are willing to do only what's easy, life will be hard. But if you are willing to do what's hard, life will be easy.